Hey there, thanks for watching and welcome to this week's Side Hustle Saturday. Sorry for looking like I don't have anything on. It is like 76 degrees in the middle of April here in Northeastern New Jersey and it's uh, kind of crazy. So I wanted to tell you about a, I guess a, a field trip kind of excursion that I went on with my mom for my business and kind of how that related to my overall strategy. I'm always on the hunt for new ways to sort of diversify, new products to look into, but I am someone that likes, likes to do research. Like I do not, I try to avoid jumping into things without knowing what's, um, and having a plan for, for the way that I'm going to execute them. Um, I also love combining things that I'm interested in uh, with potential ways to um, to use incorporate them into my business. All that to say, I um, really like. So that's I, I was looking for ways to incorporate my interests to my business. One of the things that I love is I love me some gemstones. I love like rocks and minerals, and I love. Um, I just I like having things like I like the tactile. Um, feeling of like rocks and gemstones. So I know they're kind of in vogue right now, um, but ever since I was little, I've loved them. Um, somebody gave me, I think my mom or someone, a friend gave me a piece of like tiger eye, um, the stone, and my mom was like, oh, that's the color of your eyes. And instead of saying they were brown, I would say they were tiger eye colored. So ever since I was little, I've really um, enjoyed gemstones and, and the potential energy that's stored in objects. I don't know how Anyway, that sounds very new agey, uh, which is not me, but I really enjoy gemstones. So this is a piece of rose quartz. You can't really tell that it's rose, um, but I got this from a flea market that I went to in 2016, 2017, 2016. And it's like three pounds. And I just love this this piece of rock. It's really, I, I really enjoy it. Um, it was pretty pricey. I think it was like 15 or 30, I want to say $30, $15 a pound. Um, and I like haggled them down because I was the only one there, but it's like pure, it's not manufactured. And I don't know that much about gems at all, which is one of the reasons um, why I wanted to learn. So I, I'm always, I was kind of thinking like um, of ways to diversify. So as the title will say, I went to um, the New Jersey Mineral Fossil Gem and Jewelry Show. And uh, this past weekend. And one of the reasons that I heard, I learned about this was, so that to say that I had kind of an interest in gems um, and rocks. I watch a YouTuber called Sophie Shohet, and I'll link her video below. And she did a vlog way back in 2016 about just kind of her daily life, but how she visited a rock and mineral and gem show um, by her. She's in the UK and she's an amazing sort of like, um, I'm going to say like, like a power achieving, but like still very uh, relatable and down to earth, um, fun, budget friendly, and yet luxury, um, luxury uh, lifestyle type thing. So she lives, lives a luxury lifestyle and yet budgets for it. And she makes her own money. She's in marketing. She's really, I, I really enjoy watching her. So um, when that came up, that she went to a mineral show, a rock gem and mineral show by her in the UK. It was like, oh, I wonder if there's anything like that by me. Sure enough, there was. And again, this was way back in 2016. And I found this gem show. I think it was, she posted her vlog in like August of 2016. And this gem show had already passed. It's in April. And I saw, and I signed up on their email um, alert to get alerts when the next show was in. So, because it's yearly, it's only, it's once a year. So 2017, 2018 came and went. And I was like, do I go? Do I not go? Um, and then finally, I told myself last year, I was like, no matter what, this year I'm going. So this year, I was like, I made this commitment to myself. And I was even still like the weekend before waffling, like, do I go? Do I not go? Um, I finally just bought the tickets and went. So the tickets were $15 online and $20 um, in person. And I was kind of wondering, and I was excited to make this video because I was like, I couldn't find any other videos on this show and I was wondering, is it going to be worth it? Is it worth 15 bucks? Is it worth driving? It's about an hour away from me. So here is my, here are my sort of, um, my overall impression. I really had a great time. It was exciting. Um, it was at an expo center by us and they have like trade shows and, um, like dance competitions and things like that at this expo center. So, so it was huge and there was really, um, there were, I would say close to 200 exhibitions. So there, are, it's organized into different exhibit halls. Um, and I'll insert some footage at the end, different exhibit halls and, um, 
So there are different exhibits on display and then you can go into like the vendor area and it's huge, like massive, like stadium sized. And it's open to the public so anyone can come in and buy what the vendors are exhibiting. But there's also a special section for wholesalers or people with their business license, which this year I am. So I brought my paperwork just in case I decided to purchase anything, which was really exciting that I could like go into the wholesaler section. So we went, my mom and I went and um, we walked through the exhibits. There was one called like, like a, uh, like a moonstone type thing or like a, a moon rock thing. And there was another section. The, the big exhibit this year was the scoop on poop. <laughs> so like there were different exhibits on, um, the significance of like droppings so we went through those and, and very kid friendly like kids were having a ball they had like interactive exhibits that the kids could play with so really a lot of fun I would, I would say very geared toward kids they also had um activities in the main exhibition hall that were very kid friendly like coloring and like you can mine for gems um so very kid friendly there was also a pretty a, a decent sized like area where you could sit down and eat like there were there was food for sale and they were like a, there was a resting place where you could sit and rest which I thought was um uh helpful uh, and convenient so we walked through the two exhibits and then you find yourself in like the main hall and it was huge and overwhelming um so that was a little bit uh daunting but a lot of fun like people are standing there it's not like it, it's it reminds me of like a bazaar like a market if you ever have been to like a middle eastern market where people are like haggling and like <laughs> like calling out. Uh, it wasn't quite that level, but definitely with people exhibiting their wares. Um, and there were things that I had no idea um, what they were. And it, it again, it was very overwhelming, but I, I for sure got a bunch of, of really neat ideas um, for potential business um, uh, endeavors. So it was fun to experience um, and kind of be exposed to. I would do it again, but I wish, like, I wish I knew more about gems and, like, different grades and, um, I guess how to evaluate them, um, but it was, again, it was a great place to learn, so in that aspect, I, I really enjoyed going. I think it was, it was worth the 15 bucks that I paid to get in, um, and it was a really, a really great time, so I will insert the clips here so you can see, um, we did. <laughs> so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about the show in particular or about gems or anything um, that, that you would like to share, maybe you know something about them, um, as well as ways that you would potentially use this in business, uh, let me know. And thank you as always for watching and I hope you'll keep watching.